Please note, this video has been created for educational purposes and should be viewed with a tone of responsible understanding for the ethical implications of power dynamics and the psychology of influence. Welcome to Machiavellian Psychology. In today's video, we delve into the intricate world of strategy and manipulation. As we explore the guile and deception strategy from Robert Greene's acclaimed book, The 33 Strategies of War. Join us as we unravel the tactics of cunning and subtlety that have shaped the course of history. Robert Greene's The 33 Strategies of War is a comprehensive guide that draws from historical figures and events. It offers insights into the psychological aspects of warfare, extending its principles to social, political, and personal conflicts. At the heart of the guile and deception strategy lies the art of misleading and outwitting your opponents. Green emphasizes the importance of misdirection, creating illusions, and hiding your intentions to gain a strategic advantage. Let's explore the key principles of this strategy. First, the element of surprise. By being unpredictable, you keep your enemies off balance. Second, the use of decoys and red herrings to mislead and distract. And third, the power of misinformation to create false narratives. How can we apply the guile and deception strategy in today's world? In business, politics, or personal relationships, these tactics can be used to navigate complex situations and gain the upper hand. Applying the guile and deception strategy from Robert Greene's The 33 Strategies of War in Modern Context requires careful consideration and a deep understanding of the environment you're operating in. Here's how it can be applied in different spheres. 1. Business, market positioning. Companies often use deception to create a perception of their products or services that may not fully align with reality. This can involve overstating capabilities or using marketing tactics to create an illusion of superiority. Negotiations. In business negotiations, thou can be used to mislead competitors about intentions, strengths, or weaknesses. This might involve feigning disinterest in a deal to get better terms or creating a false sense of urgency. Corporate strategy. Companies might use deceptive tactics to throw off competitors such as announcing fake initiatives to mislead about their true strategic direction. To dot politics colon diplomacy colon politicians and diplomats often use deception to achieve strategic objectives, like misrepresenting intentions in negotiations to gain concessions or using double speak to keep true intentions hidden. Election campaigns. Candidates might use deceptive tactics in their campaigns presenting themselves in ways that may not fully align with their true beliefs or intentions, or spreading misinformation about opponents. Policy making. Politicians might introduce policies or legislation with hidden agendas, using the publicized benefits as a smokescreen for the real intentions. 3. Personal relations. Conflict resolution. In personal disputes, one might use deception to diffuse a situation, such as by concealing certain feelings or intentions to avoid escalation. Influence and persuasion. Individuals might employ subtle deception in everyday interactions, like exaggerating stories or accomplishments to influence others' perceptions or decisions. Protecting privacy. Sometimes, Gaul is used to protect personal privacy or the privacy of others by withholding information or diverting attention away from sensitive topics. While these tactics can be effective, it's important to recognize the ethical implications and potential long-term consequences of using deception. Misleading others can lead to a loss of trust, damage to reputation, and various other negative outcomes. Therefore, it's crucial to balance the use of guile and deception with a sense of integrity and responsibility. While effective, the guile and deception strategy raises ethical questions. It's crucial to consider the moral implications and potential consequences of employing such tactics. The use of guile and deception. 
while potentially effective in achieving short-term goals, raises significant ethical questions and moral considerations. Employing such tactics can lead to a range of consequences that should be carefully weighed. 1. Trust and Relationships The foundation of any healthy relationship, whether personal or professional, is built on trust. When guile and deception are used it can erode this trust, leading to strained or broken relationships. Once trust is lost, it's often very difficult to regain. 2. Reputation and Credibility Individuals or organizations known for using deceptive tactics may develop a reputation for being untrustworthy or manipulative. This can harm long-term credibility and hinder future collaborations or opportunities. In a world where a reputation can be a significant asset, this is a considerable risk. 3. Ethical Integrity Using deception can conflict with personal or organizational values and ethics. This internal conflict can lead to moral distress, impacting mental and emotional well-being. It can also lead to a culture where unethical behavior becomes normalized. 4. Legal and Regulatory Consents In some cases, deceptive practices can cross the line into illegal activities such as fraud or false advertising. This can lead to legal repercussions, financial penalties, and even criminal charges. 5. Social Responsibility Organizations and individuals hold a responsibility to society at large. Deceptive practices can harm communities, economies, and the environment. The broader impact of these tactics should be a consideration in decision-making. 6. Long-term outcomes, how deception might offer a short-term advantage, it can lead to long-term disadvantage. Relationships built on deceit are often unstable and can collapse when the truth emerges. This can lead to a cycle of escalating deception to maintain the initial fraud. 7. Psychological and engaging indestive behavior can have psychological effects on the deceiver, including guilt, anxiety and stress. Living with the fear of being exposed or the burden of maintaining a lie can be psychologically taxing. In conclusion, while the guile and deception strategy might seem appealing as a means to gain an upper hand, it's important to consider the broader ethical implications and potential long-term consequences. Balancing strategic objectives with ethical principles is crucial for sustainable success and maintaining a positive personal and professional identity. The Guyland Deception Strategy, as outlined in Robert Greene's The 33 Strategies of War, offers a fascinating insight into the art of manipulation and strategy. Whether used in warfare, politics, or personal endeavors, understanding these tactics can provide a unique perspective on human behavior and conflict resolution. If you found this video insightful, please like, share, and subscribe to Machiavellian Psychology for more content on psychology, strategy, and the art of influence. Thank you for watching.